talk to Dave Dykstra over here on the bomber track. Actually, he's getting pushed off. He says he feels it's just an oil leak and they can get that going. Now, normally when you see the sprint cars come out opening night, you know, it could be anything, but certainly a bit of oil here. Dave feels it's just a leak, nothing terminal. Back to you for the bomber heats. Thank you very much. As I mentioned, 14 bombers signed in tonight, seven in each heat race. Starting on the pole of heat race number one, the 22A is Ashley Nelson. On her outside, a feature winner last year, the number six of Wade Thorne. For number two on the inside, the 22B is Brooke Nelson. On her outside, the number eight, a rookie, Adam Nye. For number three on the inside, the 155 is Dustin Longboat. On his outside, the 14, Jerry Burnham. And starting shotgun on the field, the 37 is Jake Moss. A couple of cars not making the call here, but we'll go with five cars. Six laps of distance on heat race number one. Green flag is out the first Gales Auto Aftermarket. Bomber Division Heat Race of the Year. There's a scoring nightmare out there, Tommy. Two identical cars. One's a little bit darker color of blue than the other, so it's about the only distinguishing factor there. You see the number six car, Wade Thorne, out front. After this heat race, we'll talk a little bit about the sign that's on the side of his car. You'll see it as he comes around here to lead lap number two. Four to go here in this first qualifying heat for the Gales Auto Aftermarket Bomber Division. Wade Thorne leading the way. Over Adam Nye, the rookie driver board car number eight cross flags are out. Wade a veteran now, I guess you'd call him here in this division. Board car number six. He got a feature win last year, so definitely that makes him a veteran. For sure, once you get a feature win in the rough and tumble bomber division, I think that certifies you as a veteran, and he's up there with two to go now for the number six of uh, Wade Thorne. I couldn't make it last week. I hurt my back. I missed test and tune, but there was even a rollover in test and tune in the bombers. They go all out all the time. I think it may have been that yellow 37 car of Moss. He didn't have the numbers on the car last week, so it was hard to tell, but definitely a rough ride in test and tune for one of the bomber drivers. White flag out now for Thorne out front. And Wade Thorne leading the way and will grab the checkered flag it looks like here in the first qualifying heat for the Gales Auto Aftermarket Bomber Division. Wade Thorne grabs the win. So Thorne gets the win. Second will be Adam Nye. Then it's Nelson in the 22, the 37 of Moss and the 22 of Nelson. The six car of Wade Thorne says prom question mark on the side. He wants to know if Paisley Holly would like to go to the prom with him. So hopefully the answer is yes. So hopefully go to the prom with Wade Thorne, okay? Let us know, either through our Facebook page or Twitter. Let us know, will you go to the prom? It was a promposal. The first I'd ever heard that word, but there's your promposal for the night. You have daughters, get used to it. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> So he raced number two for the Gales Auto Aftermarket Bombers, takes to the track starting on the pole, the 11 of Patrick Abramson. On his outside, the 188 Paul Longboat. Row number two on the inside, the 17 Kalia Sims. On her outside, the 95 Mark Thorne. Then it's the three Alex Moss, 23 track champ Dustin Gore, and the 42 of Jordan Gore. Here we go, and he raced number two. The second and final qualifying heat for the Bombers underway. And the champion in this one showing some smoke, Dusty DeBoer. Every year the DeBoers uh, change things up with an NASCAR scheme. This one's the, uh, is that the Morgan Shepard Motorcraft? That's, that's many, as good a guess as any. Many drivers drove that car, but you know, Rick, Ricky Rudd, Rudd, I believe, drove the Motorcraft. We'll have to ask him later. I'm sure we'll see him in victory lane <laughs> sometime this year. So. Anyway, up front it is Longboat in the 188, and now Dusty goes up in a big cloud of smoke in that 23 car. It does look like a different car this year for Dusty, and not working out too well for him right now, but up front it is Longboat in the 188. Adrianson right there in the 11 car, though. Here comes Longboat, who was very strong last season, but here comes Abramson, who the strong as well, board car number 11. He'll work to the outside of Longboat, going into corners one and two. DeBoer, with all that smoke, though, has closed the gap a little bit on the leaders. Apparently, it just had to work the new out of it. <laughs> or the older 
something. Up front, side by side now for Abramson and Longboat as they head down into turn one the final time. As we say that, DeVore is clearing out the Mosquitoes, but he's gained ground on second place. Longboat at the front though, looking to take the checkered flag. And Longboat will get the win over Abramson. Dusty DeVore will get third. He'll need a case of oil to get into the feature. Oh, big collision on the blocks in the back stretch. That's Kalia Sims in the 17 car, I believe. She got into that block quite hard down there that protects the light standard out of turn two. Yeah, talk about knock your block off. Man, she ran over that thing and moved it down into the ditch. And they'll get uh, Steve Stowing down in there to hook up that machine as we get ready for the HRW Automotive Mini Stocks. The always exciting division here at the Speedway. So the red flag of uh, Brooke Nelson will be the first starter in this one. Actually, Patrick Abramson going to work up to her inside. So Abramson in the 11 will be the pole sitter. He race winner earlier tonight, the number six of Wade Thorne will start on the inside. Uh, row number two on the outside, the 2014 and 13 track champion Dusty DeBoer in that number 23 car. 95 is Mark Thorne, the former mini stock competitor, starting on the inside of row number three. On his outside, the 188 of Paul Longboat. We're going to work on this lineup a little bit now. Also out there, the 37 of Jake Moss, the 42 of Joe DeBoer, 22A of Ashley Nelson, the number eight is Adam Nye, the three is Eric Moss, and the 14 is Jerry Burnham. So here we go, we're getting set to go for the first bomber feature of the year, 12 off the distance, Abramson and Nelson on the front row. Field comes to life and Nelson gets spun around at the start finish line. So from the pole to the back of the field, just past the start finish line with Abramson, your leader, and the champion from one year ago, Dusty DeBoer, in second. Abramson, a very quick mark to the right towards the end of last year. He's up front now. Thorne gets into the side of Dusty DeBoer. DeBoer keeps it straight in the 23 will stay green flag with Abramson opening up a lead already. But Dusty DeBoer holding off the pack behind him in that second spot as they're fighting tooth and nail, four cars going at it. Meanwhile, Abramson is just about to catch Rick Nelson in the 22B. Now the 22 
for Patrick Abramson, one a lap away from being the first feature winner of 2015 here at the Sweden Speedway. Just got home today from a trip to Cuba, so Abramson from vacation to victory lane here in the number 11 car. He gets to win our first feature of 2015. Second will be Jerry Burnham, third to Wade Thorne. Fourth will be Mark Thorne in the 95. And I believe Adam Nye in the number eight car is going to round out the top five. Patrick Abramson gets the win and will go down to mobile one victory lane. Where Tommy Gooch will food vouchers to give away here tonight. Here comes Patrick Abramson out of the car. He can really make some noise for our feature winner of opening night in the Gales Auto Aftermarket Bombers. There's your checkered flag from Mobile One. And there's a hat for you also from Mobile One. We'll come around and get you in front of the crowd here. And just flew home today and uh, pretty good way to come back from vacation here at Mobile One Victory Lane. Yeah, I, I had a very lovely time in Cuba, so I had to, uh, it got delayed and I got put out here for Friday, so. Straight from the airport here, just like NASCAR, so. Well, he's got the Denny Hamlin, Hamlin hat on, and uh, you got a bunch of your own sponsors, though, that you want to thank, I'm sure. Yeah, my, uh, it's the company I actually work for as well, Axis Automation, and uh, Rob Twitch, it always helps me out with everything I need, so. There he is, that's Patrick Davidson. He's your first feature winner of 2015. We'll come around and get a word with Jerry Burnham. And Jerry, a second place tonight. Seems like we're pretty much back to where we were most of last season. You got on the podium a lot, but uh, can't quite get on that top step yet. No, I was trying my best, but Patrick got quite a lead on me, so luckily I still got second. My car wouldn't start during uh, the first races because it was blowing fuse, but I got her started, and now I'm standing here in second place. It's a good night. That's Jerry Burnham, second place here tonight. We'll come over and get a word with Wade Thorne, and we gotta ask, did th was the proposal successful? Yeah, she said she'd go with me. There you go, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good night then. You get a yes, and you get a third place as well. Yeah, the car's been running good. We won last race last year with this thing, and uh, we didn't touch it all year, and figured, well, it's probably still quick, so. I mean, started fifth, and just battled, stayed with these guys the whole time, trying to keep up with them, and ended up third. There he is, that's Wade Thorne. He's your third place. Power over to pause for all of our podium finishers in the bomber division here tonight. 